out from uh, Lobe J, 16,200, 300 feet or so. And uh, we're heading Gorg Shep. Group's doing good. Um, of course, after a night at Lobache, they arrive, and then after a night, everybody feels the altitude a bit more. But um, did the med checks this morning, and everybody's doing good. We're heading towards Gorg Shep. Sun's just coming over the top of the mountain. So people will start to warm up. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning. So our plan is to take a few hours to make our way up to Gorg Shep, take a break there, have lunch. And then after lunch, head up towards Kalapatar. So slowly is important right now. Just kind of keep moving at a slow pace and uh, put ourselves up in position to get to every space camp, so. Group's doing okay, and we'll just kinda, one step at a time, make our way to every space camp. Group just made it up Kalpatar. See Pumori behind me here, coming off the top. About four o'clock in the afternoon, and got into Gorg Shep. Uh, coming up from Lopache today. You see Mount Everest right there. Noopsy here. Perfect blue skies, and uh, just incredible views up here. Long light, sun's perfect. See Amada Blom right out here. It's Amada Blom right there. And just incredible views from Kalpatar with the sun shining on it, lighting it all up. Tomorrow we'll go into base camp and start working our way back down towards Lobache and back on down the valley. But look at this view. Incredible. Okay, we are just starting out from Gorik Shep down here. And uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. We're heading to Everest Base Camp on the trail this morning over and in, into the site of the Mount Everest Base Camp. So, group's all doing well. We've got incredible clear skies looking up high and a nice day. Um, we're going to make our way out to base camp, have a little bit of time at base camp, take the, the photos, of course, and all of that. Then head down to Gorik Shep and uh, go down to Lobache this evening. Yesterday, we came up from Lobache to Gorik Shep. We had lunch, and then after lunch, we went up onto Kalapatar. Had some great views up there, and... Really uh, perfect day up high there, so it worked out really well. And uh, 
we got a number of people went all the way to the top of Calpatar. Some uh, went partially up Calpatar, but when you get up there quite a ways, you really can see the um, uh, good vantage point of Mount Everest and Noopsy. And, uh, and some of us went up all the way, got a spectacular view, did a 360. And, uh, and then we worked our way back down to, um, Gorkchup for the night. And, uh, it was a great day. The weather was perfect. And, uh, when we get up on Kalpatar, because most teams, when they first come up to Gorkchup, go into Everest Space Camp, we had barely anybody, a few small, you know, couple people here and there on our way up. It is challenging, uh. Climb to 18,500 feet, but if you do it slowly, it works out real well. And now we're gonna uh, make our way in towards base camp through the glacial moraine, and now we'll look it out here at the Kumbu Glacier, up the high mountains above, and we'll take our time and make our way into base camp right now. Okay, we are here at Mount Everest Base Camp. Group just got in. And we are all alone. There's not another group here. There's my group behind me here at the uh, Everest Base Camp marker. You can see the Kumbu Icefall coming down and then it turns to the left and goes down the big Kumbu Valley. And uh, up here, pointing out way up on top over here is uh, Mount Everest uh, poking out. But we've got just an amazing 360 panorama from here. That's down towards Gorg Shep, Kumbu Icefall, Makumbu Valley. See Noopsie up there, and then we come around to Kumbu Icefall and, and Mount Everest. But uh, we've had a great trip and um, really nice to get in here and be here with my group all alone and uh, enjoy Mount Everest Base Camp. We're all getting photos taken right now and uh, taking in the views. The weather's perfect. Um, really nice temperature, sunny and very clear views of all the mountains. So now what we'll do is we will take our time here and then we'll head back down to Gorg Shep. Um, we'll have lunch and then after lunch, we'll make our way down to Lobache Village for the night. Um, and then we'll go from Lobache Village down to Farashe and uh, spend the night. And that's where we get picked up in helicopters. We do a helicopter assisted Everspace Camp track. They've changed the flight paths in and out of Lukla. So the airport that you need to go to is a long ways away. And, uh, from Kathmandu, and we uh, use helicopters to fly in, so we'll be flying out of Farashe back to Lukla, from Lukla back to uh, Kathmandu in a couple days. So it's been a terrific journey and a uh, great group and success all the way around. Okay, we are just heading down from Everest Base Camp. You can see Mount Everest right up there is Mount Everest poking through. The base camp's down in this area here whole group just made it. it takes 10 days to get here from Kathmandu where we start our adventure worldwide trekking runs this trip uh two times a year we run it in the uh, pre-monsoon season which would be may and again in the post-monsoon season which would be october into november and that's why we come so we have these beautiful clear views like you can see today uh if we have good weather it's more likely in those times. This is a strenuous trip. We trek day after day. We take a couple days to acclimatize on double days. And uh, we use a yak team to transport our duffel bags, but then we carry a day pack and we hike every day from village to village and stay in tea house lodges along the way. So. It is strenuous. We do hike to higher altitudes. We climbed Kalpatar yesterday, 18,500 feet. And then this morning we came into Everest Base Camp, 17,700 feet right in there. Uh, the terrain can be rocky and rugged and uh, 
the hills in the lower valley and the v-shaped river valleys can be steep uh, as well but uh, it's a nice trail hiking all the way there's no climbing there's nothing technical about it but uh it is for people who want to get an adventure and get out there and uh you know challenge themselves making their way into everest base camp so we love to bring groups over here i've been coming to nepal for over half of my life and uh you know, have built special bonds with people in tea houses that run the lodges along the way. And it really makes for a special experience for our group. We've got a terrific team that uh, uh, accompany, accompanies us along the way. My Our teams at Worldwide Trekking are run through my main operations manager, Gelton Sherpa, and our entire Sherpa team are at our side during the whole trip so it's a fantastic trip in nepal love to see you with worldwide trekking making the trek to mount everest base camp give us a call if you have any questions mm -hmm.